And in other news, a U.N. body voted this week to rename yet another site with biblical roots as a World Heritage Site in the state of Palestine. Israel has responded that it will not allow the biased organization to rewrite history. The details in the following report. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization known as UNESCO has on Sunday named ancient Jericho as a World Heritage Site affiliated with the state of Palestine. The vote was held at the World Heritage Committee meeting in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. Israel is no longer a member of UNESCO, withdrawing from the world body during the Trump presidency. This vote marks the fourth ancient site that UNESCO has attributed to the Palestinians, including the Church of Nativity and the Old Town in Hebron. In response to the decision, the Palestinian Ministry of Foreign Affairs issued a statement welcoming the decision and said that Jericho's cultural, economic and political significance is unparalleled in Palestinian and world history. The statement also added that the decision reflects the international community's endorsement of Palestine's invaluable contribution to world history and human heritage and Palestinian right to self-determination over their cultural resources and rights. However, the decision was decried by Israel as an attempt to rewrite history and as yet another sign of the bias within the UN. The foreign ministry said in a statement that it considers the decision as another sign of the Palestinians' cynical use of UNESCO and the politicization of the organization and vowed to work to change all the distorted decisions that were made. Israeli Diaspora Affairs Minister Amichai Shikli also slammed the decision, saying that the UNESCO leadership believes that if you tell a lie big enough, people will eventually come to believe it. He said the words of the Bible and the Hashmonite fortress built by our ancestors will remain unerased, not even by UNESCO's fabricated history. And he shared a video explaining the Jewish connection to the ancient biblical site, in charge that the Palestinians were vandalizing and destroying evidence of the Jewish biblical and historical connection to Judea and Samaria.